4.2 impulse response, is it? Yes, it does. <laughs> I'm trying to use the Sabiras one. Yeah. Ada orang nak masuk. Yeah. I'm using back and forth some of the lectures that you'll find online. Siapa yang nak masuk tadi ni? Anybody else? So what do you see now? Outdoor propagation model. No. Nope. No. No. Still on the uh, model. Uh, still on what? Impulse response model. Four point two. Oh. Okay. To take that thing out. What do you see now? Mobile radio propagation mode and fading? Uh, uh? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. I, I will take some part of it because um, any, you know, from different people from Dr. Sabira a long, long time ago. So, um, most of the notes that kita dah cover, cuma it would be useful for you if you want to follow later. I just want to pick up from here because dia, dia punya tu ada lah, dia punya notes dia. So, this is what um, I'm going to start with today. Uh, and then, uh, if we have time, uh, we look at um, the small scale feeding again. Okay. Young channels and so on. Okay, let me see what's coming in. Okay. So we have 13, almost everybody. Maybe I take the screen screen right now. Okay, shall we start? Um, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, uh, this lecture ni uh, is a replacement class, tapi it is more for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, well, as a matter of fact, we have lots of things, uh, previous classes pun yang we have to make up. Uh, but essentially because uh, tomorrow, I apa, they reschedule my hospital appointment to tomorrow. Jadi, I quickly I have to reschedule your class now. Nah. It seems that this is the only, the, the best time for you today. Uh, then we will try to make whatever we can today, uh, sampai one o'clock. Um, jadi, um, you know, time flies. <laughs> quite quite a lot of things that uh, we, we should have done. Yeah? We couldn't uh, because of many factors, but uh, we have to catch up. Um, I, I remember I planned to um, give
give you some tutorial problems. Uh, I just got those uh, solutions, yeah? problems and the solution. Getting problem may not be a problem. Getting solution to the problem is the problem. So I just got the solution to the problem from Theodore Papo, uh, which is a classic book. This book was printed in uh, more than 20 years ago. Uh, by Theodore Papo, who is a very famous researcher in, in this area. 1996. Yeah. So um, now he has moved on and published, which is more, more current. So, so where were we? <laughs> um, problem is I couldn't figure out where was that just now. Okay, okay. So you see in the end, outdoor propagation model, eh? Okay. Yes, huh? Predict signal strength at some point on, on local area and so on. Are there? Yes. Oh, okay. Good job. <laughs> because there's so many windows here, I was afraid that might go to the wrong windows. Baik. Um, kita dah tengok the small scale fading, even though it's not complete, I have to revisit them. Uh, so the uh, initial uh, exercise or research or in development in cellular radio communications uh, was on the outdoor. So early on the in 80s and the 90s, where this is still new, even though there are radio communications technology services like trunk radio and so on, um, but it wasn't uh, like a cellular radio that we know of right now. Jadi, um, um, the first one of the first exercise that researchers and at the time did was to do a, a large uh, radio measurement campaign, uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, juga dulu. Uh, jadi this this uh, if I switch back, I might lose this one. Uh, sorry, more so. Hmm. I can let me see. Okay. Uh, jadi um, there are many. Initial in, uh, initiatives dulu, and one of the most popular one is um, okay. I let me go to the slide. Up uh, to predict the 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 idea is that with this data, they they can uh, kind of um, form and eh, formulate some kind of. Uh, uh, statistical methods uh, and and formula uh, in order to become like a, a general template for future kind of uh, planning, yeah, cellular planning, because when people want to set up a new cellular service, um, they want to cover as much as possible. They, the, the radio, the radio propagation should cover uh, as much as possible the area that they have. So uh, it is not always easy. <coughs> it's not always easy to to do measurement all the time. So with this basic formula, they can use that as a kind of a prediction tool uh, to to start with their design. And and then when they have already established, then they, they probably they what they will do is to uh, test yeah. test their uh, radio distribution um, and make uh, proper tuning adjustment yeah, as as the result that they got. Because there's so many factors involved. Jadi, um, there's no one single formula that 
uh, can capture uh, exactly what what is bound or what is uh, the radio signal uh, propagation will be like at any particular time. So, uh, so many of these models have been um, uh, developed. So predict the signal strength at some point or local area. You know, like the area I'm saying you now, uh, which is not very far from the city, but uh, because the terrain is still a bit difficult, it's uh, mountainous or, or hilly, uh, lots of uh, trees, and there are you know, lots of uh, building or, or the bungalows around my house. So the signal that I pick up from my house is not necessarily good. Okay, but uh, and because the, the cellular base station or radio base station is uh, somewhat far away, about one, two kilometers away. So uh, this this is uh, the issue. Okay, so uh, I, I should have known, <laughs> and this is something that um, the cellular provider uh, will have to take care of, and they it depend it depends on how many people stay here. Okay, kalau there are not many people, then uh, they will have a cheaper solution. You know, they they will not have to put up a new base station. They, they may have repeaters and things like that. Okay, so they predict the signal strength at some point, which is like my kampung here, and and consider the terrain profile. Terrain profile, mountain lah, or hilly, and trees and so on. Mountain trees, buildings, obstacle. Obstacle ni, um, well, it could be building, but uh, it could be all these things, like hills and whatever that uh, blocks or, uh, you know, re uh, or the um, put impediment eh, or uh, change the shape or the propagation uh, signal. So, um, obtain models from systematic interpretation of measurement data. Uh, so, after they have collected all this data, then they, they go back and try to understand them and plot them accordingly. Uh, so, some of these things that has been done before, uh, this one is computer-based model. Eh? Long Lee Rice, which is one of the old one uh, that they did long, long time ago when there's no cellular radio, uh, even before I was born, maybe. Long Lee Rice model, ni nama orang lah, two person. Uh, they just simply use some characteristic of the um, of a typical signal. Yeah, uh, maybe we'll have have a look at some of them. Uh, but they they didn't consider um multipath yeah multipath objects um things that will scatter the signal uh, is pretty much um, line of sight uh, maknanya the transmitter and the receiver can see each other uh, maybe like like satellites yeah? or microwave link uh, those may be relevant to this particular model uh, i'm not sure about durkin's model i can skip that um now this one that i mentioned that was more popular okumura model which is because it was based on actual measurement campaign and it was um uh, it was done in in japan in tokyo right? yeah in in around 80s uh, when cellular thing starts to coming uh so by this man called okumura jadi dia punya the effort that the uh, initiative was done in Tokyo. And Tokyo, ni, walaupun it's a large area, it's, it's very uh, low, low rise. Yeah? Uh, there's not much high rise like, like we have right here in KL. Essentially, essentially because of the, uh, the, you know, the tectonic uh, or the earthquake prone of that particular uh, area in, in you know about Tokyo uh, or in Japan, they are very very active uh, earthquake area. So they cannot have too tall building. They have tall building, but 
they are designed uh, in such a way that it, it is uh, it is able to withstand a certain amount of earthquake yeah, so uh, they're they very very good at that yeah. the building can sway but uh, it wouldn't collapse but of course uh, not very tall so there's Tokyo is pretty much a, a low rise yeah, but very big sprawling city when I say low means probably 10 to 20 um, stories, yeah? not like our 100, 180 meters, 80, 100, 80 stories, 100 stories, not like ours. Not because that they cannot do, but you know it is not safe to do that. So Okumura was the first one to do it, and, and then followed by a few other people, Hata, yeah, Hata ni Japan and Kamlayu. Hata also they, they extended uh, or rather they pick up from Okumura model and and uh, you know modify it and include a few few other parameters. Uh, so this one is called empirical model. Empirical model ni they based on something juga lah, but they have some some uh, theoretical. Um, Kind of a knowledge on that, so Hatta model, uh, PCS ni, uh, not too sure PCS. PCS stands for cellular system lah, personal personal communication system. Uh, there's another one, Wallfish Vertoni model that we can ignore that. that. But by far, these are the two most um, popular one, and there will be. Uh, some examples eh? uh, that um, you know we can try to follow. Uh, in fact, some of these example I gave you a link that eh? uh, is a very good one. It it goes step by step some of the things that we need to do in order to 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 um, come up with some uh, some uh, some parameters. Like path loss, okay. Uh, jadi, uh, uh, we go back to this one. Long Lee Rice model is a point to point frequency forty meg to hundred gigahertz. It's it's a huge one, but uh, is pretty much uh, theoretical. Yeah. You know, hundred gigahertz. Kali kita five G pun uh, belum sampai ke situ lagi. Five yeah. G. Uh, Talking about 20 years, maybe. Yeah. Uh, Hello? Outdoor propagation models. Uh huh. Dapat? Kita gerak. Hello? Oh, tak gerak. You must say the cup mana? Oh, yeah, I'm going to the next slide. Tak gerak. Tak, tak gerak. gerak. Sekarang ni, uh, what do you see now? Yang sama sebelum tadi, ya. Uh, outdoor position model, signal. and then the predict the signal. Predict the signal, and then the last page is wildfish Bertoni model. The last line. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. And then I I move up or down. Dia tak move ya. Eh? Betul. Sekarang ni outdoor propagation model juga, tapi computer based model, longly rise model. Tak, dia dekat bagian yang mula-mula tadi. Okay. Macam mana ya? Every time I have to exit ni. Stop presenting. And then present balik. What do you see now? Outdoor provision model juga kan? Uh, ni dah masuk It's a different page ni? Uh, Line page. Ah, uh, okay. So, I think you see here outdoor provision model, computer based model, longly rise model kan? Betul. Okay. Um, Betul. Betul. Okay. 
Uh, jadi ini ini yang saya uh, mention tadi uh, long rise model ni uh, we probably won't be we won't be using it but it's just good to know uh, dia guna geometric optic techniques dia more more like light you know point source two ray ground reflection model knife edge refraction scattering uh, macam kita dah jumpa dah, dah touch dulu uh, can use the terrain path profile So terrain path maknanya kita punya uh, kita punya environment lah environment mountain ke uh, kampung open ke cannot add environment corrections uh, so maknanya dia setakat tu je boleh dia tak boleh katakan apply in different environment kalau di point to point tu saja kalau dia in in a in a crowded area Uh, there is no way that you can uh, adjust it in order to make it uh, suitable for that particular environment and then no multipath consideration so um, you know we'll be talking about multipath you know, signals that are being changed by many um, factors so they cannot do that so okumara model is a measurement model most widely used in urban areas obtained by extensive measurement represented by charts and yeah, they, they, they collect all the data and then uh, put them in charge giving medium a uh, median median attenuation relative to free space attenuation so uh, free space kita tahu kita dah belajar dulu um there where there is no obstacle just uh, simply the atmosphere Um, the dia punya measurement dia ambil lots of data dia ambil median and median ni is like like mean lah yeah? average average so dia ambil median with after lots of measurement um, and in this particular range 150 to 19 20 mega megahertz um, but nowadays our our 3G our onward dah go beyond this one kan GM, ESM dulu ok, but our 2G, 3G dah, you know, kita guna 2 gigahertz, so benda ni dah a little bit out, tapi dia boleh do some correction. Uh, distance 1 to 10 kilometers and antenna height, base station antenna height, 30 meters to 1000 meters. 1000 meter ni cannot be on a on a pole lah. It, it probably, uh, we're talking about on top of a tall building so some tall building you can see uh, some antennas there jadi um, so they, they consider up to that height uh, but beyond this is uh, probably not uh, uh, not practical anymore kalau you punya antenna terlalu tinggi you cannot receive at the ground floor quasi smooth terrain quasi ni it's um, average is almost like uh, yeah maknanya quasi to almost like but it's not quite urban and suburban areas quasi smooth area maknanya it's not mountainous lah. so uh, okumara model property based completely on measurement no analytical explanation so they are essentially um, just measure aja and then try to um, retrofit or, or rather do auto regression in graphical form based on extensive measurement in Tokyo area valid for those frequencies and distances from 1 to 100 kilometers uh, and it's valid for an urban environment over quasi or quasi some people would say smooth terrain simple but accurate for predicting path loss uh, ini, ini yang kita nak tahu ni sebenarnya path loss so that we can design the base station location power and, and the receiver power and so on predicting path loss of cellular and then mobiles practical standard for system planning yeah so system planning as i mentioned if we want to offer a new service in a new place uh, we want to know we want to make sure that we cover it right uh, you know make sure the right people get it um, and there's there's no no shadows and so on so everybody has a coverage Um, 
So Okamura model is very accurate in cluttered environment. Cluttered environment is essentially like a city lah. Eh? Cluttered dia dia no, terlalu terlalu banyak banyak uh, objects and obstacle. But responds very slowly to changes in terrain uh, as often seen in rural areas. So meaning to say that it is uh, good for for city but uh, not good for rural yeah, it, it is not accurate for rural area so in in any case um, um, most service provider would not um, consider yeah, setting up service in rural areas when they there are not expected to be uh, many users so they would rather uh, spend their, their their investment and invest their their money in the city areas. Uh, so in in uh, in our context, uh, the rural areas they, they normally have they set up a fund, eh? MCMC set up a fund. They call it uh, UFO. You know, no, sorry, USO, <laughs> not UFO. Universal Service Obligation. So uh, they they tax all these service uh, cell codes, uh, cellular provider a certain amount and then put this in a fund and then if they have to set up a network uh, as in a rural areas and that company can use this fund so that's called uso um so so this formula calculate the path loss um determine the free free space path loss yeah they that's the first thing that's the first um First element, free space, maknanya tak ada obstacle. Um, and then look up table for median attenuation. So um, that particular chart tadi, median, no, table or chart? Table, uh, median, uh, sorry, chart. Yeah. Uh, given the distance and the frequency, you can refer to that, to that diagram, which I think uh, we will we'll come back to we'll come to this one okay um to if i scroll down what do you see you you see different pages at the point does it move or not yes it moves can you move? Uh, move eh? okay good okay uh so look up table for median attenuation a a amu <coughs> attenuation um, average or median attenuation. Attenuation ni kelemahan. Yeah. Macam juga free plus, plus loss yang tadi. Tapi um, this one is loss. This is attenuation ni. It's loss juga lah in a way. But dia, dia pelemahan. Pelemahan means dia, dia lose the energy over a specific uh, distance and so on. And then you can add some factors. Uh, due to antenna high and and the environment so do you not not the not the antenna gain but the antenna height only only height so kalau you put it on a you know on on a pole or on a building uh, you get a better factor gain yeah, up to one kilometer and environment also a correction factors because uh, okumura the punya reading was made in a certain environment, but in a different environment, uh, you you have to add certain other factors, and the factors are given. So this this is the basic uh, model, air path loss model, Okamura. L50, L50 is, I mentioned median path loss, median like average, yeah, because they take so many data, L50. LF is free space, free space path loss. A M A sometimes A M U. I I don't know what is the standard way, but uh, this one is median attenuation. A stands for attenuation. M A is or M U is uh, attenuation with which is a factor of frequency and and distance. FD. And then 
minus these two factor which are the antenna height yeah g ini is not gain like we know um an antenna gain that we have done before uh, but this is essentially about height and then uh, there there depends on how high the antenna is so are the three ranges here kalau antenna height is very high uh, then this gain is is equal to this 20 log ht over 200 yeah any you know there's no particular formula uh, uh, or other theory they just through through their data and if it is between uh, or less than three meters which is a uh, typical for a user like like us you yeah, know we are uh sitting down or standing you know we are one and a half meters maybe um some people maybe two meters or maybe color they stand on something it can go up to three meters then we use this particular formula color between three to ten somebody they were probably on the top floor i don't know uh you we have you know different floors maybe in in our building uh so we can use this yeah 20 log h three over three no i think hr hr rather than h3 yes and then finally ga is again factor due to environment uh, as i said different environment they have some correction different correction factors let's have a look okay the same thing here now this is the collection of the data that he has uh, measured and put it in a graph like this a chart or rather a chart so um uh, uh you know one x x axis is frequency and then y axis they have uh, two uh variable uh, one is the distance the other one is the median attenuation yeah the ma ama or emu factor just now so you will see for example katakan uh, two gigs lah katakan eh two gigs uh we want to know what is the uh distance after let's say 10 kilometer yeah 10 kilometer we project this to this curve which represent 10 kilometer this one is 10 kilometer and then project it horizontally to the outer axis and on as a guess estimate you can see it is 34 um, 34 db yeah 34 db so that one will have to be plugged in into your formula just now ema okay and and so on so it varies so it could be one gig and so on so you, it's it's a simple i think exercise yeah for for us to chart back this one uh but i'm not sure this one it is only on this particular parameter ht 200 meters hr three meters um and this one is the the gain uh factor just now uh the correction factor so if if it is a suburban area suburban macam macam i think my my area in it as sungai merap uh, even though it's kampung but there are some development dekat dengan putrajaya uh so this is the factor uh, with two gig um the gain factor is let's say i don't know 11 to 12 yeah so then we have to select that if it is a quasi open area meaning uh, can be like sungai merap juga yeah? so this is the one you can project about 25 26 and if it is open betul betul i don't know where maybe um on a, in some some area where uh there's no development maybe just three 
this and so on and 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 fill so we can add this um now uh if if it is exactly urban you, you notice that there's no urban uh definition here um because that formula itself was suited suited for urban or, or rather made in under urban environment so there is no need for this uh adjustment meaning to say if you're given a, a, an environment a question that it is in an urban area ga will be zero isn't it? so no no adjustment needed kalau just now that kita tengok example tadi um uh, suburban area g at two gig uh the punya factor dia is level 11 db then we have to plug in 11 db so um now notice you know this is l50 is a loss uh, whatever we calculate here is a loss. Maknanya, eventually, when you plug in into your main equation, it is it become negative. So loss of a loss, yeah, negative of a negative, is actually a, a gain factor to the eventual uh, formula. Yeah, because you can see here antenna height. Uh, if it is higher, then it is better. Yeah, hundred meters then it can cover larger area uh, receiver kalau dia higher better better reception so uh, this negative means it minus from the this loss factor here which means to say that eventually it is it is a, a gain factor that's why it is called g okay yang positive ni it means that it is a loss it is a loss contribution to the uh, to the formula yeah, that we want to uh, find out. So th this is Okumara model. Now, uh, Hatta, a person who came after this, um, he came up with uh, his method empirical formulation. Empirical name term they have a formula, lah. they have a theory, they, they test it on this data. Uh, and their punya range is between 150 to 1500 megahertz, which is not very useful now in, in the sense that we, uh, most of our, our signal or, or rather our services are beyond this. Uh, and, or, or rather except that recently, they announced 5G will be yeah the uh, you know 5G ni dia ada tiga types of uh, bandwidth yeah, or, or range or spectrum uh, depending on the the type of services that we we want. Jadi uh, for essentially for uh, for low latency, yeah, low latency macam uh, IoT lah, yeah, IoT. Small data, small data that uh, you collect only from time to time. Um, they allocate around 700 megahertz uh, spectrum, but somehow they withdrew it. Uh, I don't know whether you follow or not. Yeah, MCMC, MC, well, they announced they want it. Are uh, the five companies, and then uh, not long after that, a few days after that, they they withdraw. Uh, whatever happened. We don't know, but in between, uh, the MCMC chairman was changed. <laughs> so there's a lot of politicking there too. And new MCMC chairman came in. Um, jadi, um, so it's, it's between this range only. Height, antenna height or transmitter height is between 30 to 200 meters. Uh, and receiver height is one to 10 meters. One to ten meters, ni essentially, kalau macam our our building, record, our office building, yeah? ten meters is thirty feet. Uh, thirty feet is about, about our department lah, yeah, for for floor. Suitable for large cell. Large cell essentially uh, one kilometer and above. Uh, not for the small cell. 
now nowadays they they have different name for this one uh micro cell nano cells can even pico cells yeah. uh we mentioned what pico cell pico cell is is um as small as your uh your particular room or house kita normally houses now they have wi-fi wi-fi access point so but wi-fi to it belong to the privately owned but nano cell uh they can put it here but still manage yeah, owned by the public uh, the service provider yeah how many of you have uh heard or rather listen to some lectures on 5g um just just shout ada tidak huh? no ada yang tapi dah lama dah lama hmm. dah lama kat mana yang dekat cyber oh so you attended the lecture ataupun you you went for that demo ya eh? dia punya showcase okay do that one under kursus apa dulu yang you attended tu sendiri oh i see okay no formal kind of uh, presentation lectures that that has been given to you Sorry, yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe one of these days, I, I can I try to invite somebody to give a talk on 5G. Or if not, I can collect a few of our friends in the department. We we uh, can present to you about 5G. But 5G is not, it's not in the syllabus. Lah. Of course, the syllabus was designed long time ago. Jadi kita nak masuk 5G pun tak tahu angle yeah, but Many of these basic things are quite relevant juga to 5G. Okay, coming back to this one. Uh, yeah, let me see where, okay, after this one, we'll stop. Um, so, uh, this is, uh, sometimes they call it Okura Mod, Okumura Hata model together. Because Hata ni, they derive from Okumura juga. So, this is the punya formula. Uh, lots of numbers, and nampak macam, very complicated juga. LP is a loss lah, macam tadi juga. Tadi L, uh, ni LP is loss for suburban. Suburban means suburban ni, eh? suburban. Jadi macam ni lah, ni. Uh, L, uh, LP for suburban, this one. For open rural area, these factors. I don't expect you to remember this. If, if there is a question on this, of course, some of this formula uh, should be given. But uh, anyway, coming back to this one, L for the urban, all, all these numbers, they have um, <clears throat> evaluated based on certain, uh, upper, certain fixed parameter. Uh, for example, frequencies, ke, fre speed of light, and so on. That's why they just calculate and, and uh, give certain numbers rather than give formula. So this one, uh, 69.55 plus 26.16 log of FC minus 13.82 log HT minus AHR. A ni pun apa dia tadi? I think uh, adjustment factor. Uh, plus this again log d db so a hr is equal to this okay uh this is for sub sub uh, for urban for small to medium city a hr is this for f less than 300 megahertz uh for f frequency more than 300 megahertz a hr which is an uh, antenna height for the receiver is this factor for large city uh this is the formula for open city this is the formula but of course um uh you know they, they can represent this according to chart juga so note f is in megahertz yeah so kena check juga dia punya dia punya apa uh, unit yeah so it's given uh, 
frequency is in megahertz rather than hertz saja. So, uh, we have to be aware of that. D is in kilometer and antenna hikes are in meters. Uh, jadi, this particular diagram, let me see, uh, shows the path loss for this particular frequency and antenna height. So, distance, you can see it, path loss increase with distance, but uh, gradually saturate yeah, at 140 dB. This is PLD path loss at as a function of distance. So this is uh, uh, Hatta. Hatta. Um, I will try to find some examples of this. Um, okay, maybe we go, we go for a short break. Yeah. Um, come back in about ten minutes. Okay. Can go and have yes, some refreshment, yeah. coffee, tea. So how do I switch off for a while? Oh, uh, let me take a screenshot again. Okay. All right.
Okay, welcome back. Um, saya nak try uh, link dengan satu uh, lecture online YouTube. Eh, saya tak pasti. Saya tak try lagi mana ni. Um, so let's see how it works. Huh? Sekarang ni, um, what what do you see online right now? That note tadi ya. Eh? Sekarang dekat empirical formulation. Okay, tadi lagi. Ini, eh? Okay, I I will try to link dengan uh, some YouTube punya lectures. I'm not sure whether they're going to work or not. Okay. Ada apa nampak sana? Ada YouTube punya page tak? Tak nampak apa-apa. Tak ada. Ha? Oh tak ada eh? I don't know how to link them lah. Because I'm showing, I'm trying to show some of the uh, online lectures from other places. Tapi... Uh, baru, baru keluar. Uh, you, dah keluar dah, dah keluar. You, you know how, Ha? Huh? Dah dah ada ni. Nampak nampak. Ha. Ah. <coughs> Some of the practical uh, link budget models with respect to log distance and log normal shadowing. Okay, in that the primary reason was that we were trying to find out what is the path loss. As, as I told you, the empirical models are you Model, the longer rise the Okumura and the Hata. Okumura Hata, I think the Hata particularly in next time when you are doing the experiment for LT, you have come across the term Hata model. So we'll see that what exactly it is. We will actually do the Okumura and Hata model in MATLAB as well as the next experiment for our lab. Okay, that we'll do in MATLAB. So the thing is, the first thing is the outdoor radio transmission takes place over irregular terrain. So now we are focusing on outdoor. After finishing with the outdoor, we will go to indoor model also. You will find that like here the long layer rise of the Okumura and Atta, we will have several models for indoor model as well. Some attenuation factor model, Sony uh, Ericsson, Ericsson breakdown model. So those models are like for applicable only for indoor environment. Okay, so that attenuators has a role to play here. So the first thing is this outdoor radio propagation transmission takes place in ir irregular terrains. The terrain profile must be taken into consideration to estimate the path loss. Okay, so it can include anything like the trees or buildings or hills or desert. Just see the obstacles of the attenuators. Now you can really easily it can be understandable that these things cannot be present in an indoor environment, right? So naturally, the nature of calculation for path loss will be entirely different. Now path length, everything we will give in. We will find out the with due credit, you can observe that the range of frequency at which it was predicted to give a Sorry, so I skip, skip it yeah? So please remember why we are leading towards Okumura. So that leads to the 1968 model which was developed by Okumura in Japan. So this is a very very famous model specifically used for the outdoor environment. A 
across the urban cities of Japan. Okay, he went down. Sorry, my signal is not very strong. I can take it somewhere stronger. It is basically the band in which the the VI the uh, like the. Uh, 4G and uh, 3G is working. So 2.4 gigahertz is also quite an understandable frequency range. And also you can see the distance. Distance is transmitter receiver separation. It can go till 100 kilometers and it can be extrapolated also. So you measure in this way. Also he took some other assumptions, we'll come to that. But based on that, what he did, he came up with something of an equation of this nature. We'll come to this later. We'll come to this later. But based on this, he came up with something of this nature, L50 dB is equal to LF plus AMU plus, so this whole thing is some, so what he did, so what he did, please understand this graph, because this is a very Sorry. Oh, the advertise you write anything on your computer, Sorry. you need to get Grammarly. <laughs> I write pretty much all day, every day. My 900 megahertz. So let's, let's see uh, different colors. Let's see. We'll change the color. So, so I've, let me I've uh, explained this one. So we... So you have... This keep very quickly. Oh. Both of these factors are very important in finding the equation. Then what he did, he found out the new so this G area you get it from your graph, AMU FD you get it from your graph, LF as the formula suggests you can find out from the equation. See the equation also comes in because of the assumptions whatever he made with respect to the height. So the first exercise on a specific, uh, rather two specific to Okumura scheme. So the first okay. thing is we have okay. understood what is the disadvantage of Okumura. Now the advantage of Hata model is, first of all, this is more robust because it has an analytical sound knowledge to it. So the equation, please note it down. Unfortunately, you do, you have to remember this. There is no point, there is no derivation for this, but you have to remember all the coefficients to this particular equation. It is lesser simpler compared to, uh, like it is more simpler, sorry, it's more simpler compared to Okumura because you, they, you don't have any associated formula for HTE and H, uh, HTE particularly because you can see log HTE is directly used okay so it's log HTE is directly used over here so you have HT, uh, log HTE somewhere here log HTE somewhere here D is the distance of separation so this you can directly use so one of the equation is eliminated the factor G HTE which was there in the Okumura is now eliminated over here but we also have another factor which has come up which is known as the correction factor or AHRE which comes in only because there is an Hata model. Please don't get confused, don't put this AHRE to the Okumura model. I have seen doing people doing this, that's why I am telling you the problems you might have. I know that this is an equation where the coefficients, knowledge, knowledge of these coefficients might be difficult for you but if, I can't help it, there is no derivation or point of deriving the whole thing. Even that will be very complex. So it's just that you have to remember the coefficients of this equation. So you can see here, what we are doing is, we have, we are having a height of the base station antenna to be between 30, 30 meters to 200 meters. And the antenna height, the HRE, that is the receiver antenna, to be between 1 to 10 meters. So the specification is almost same as that of Okumura model. Nothing, nothing changes much. 
But the main problem or the main solution to this comes in with the AHRE. So let's see what is AHRE. Again, don't get confused. I'll tell you what is the solution for this. You see, first of all, one thing to important, one of the disadvantage of Okumura scheme was it was only confined to urban areas. But you can see here, we have categorically mentioned medium-sized cities, large-sized cities, open rural areas, suburban areas. So you have a varied process of losses that might happen for different set of cities. So that is one of the biggest diversity of this particular model, that it takes into account the different stages of development in different parts of a same city. There might be some more crowd in an urban city, there might be less people in an open and rural area, the medium sized city might not have that much of a population but on an average it might have some people. So whatever be it, the factors are given like this. Now importantly what happens that this particular equation is very very important. Please make a note of it. Please make a note of it this particular equation. Why? There is two reason. The first of the reason is that this is applicable for large size city. So if you consider an urban city like in the case of or urban area for in case of uh, Okumura and if you consider that the urban city is almost a large city, if it is a large city then only you can approximate that to be an open uh, urban city. So usually large city is what we usually consider for most of our calculations and you can see FC is greater than 300 megahertz. So in most of the cases FC for us will be assumed to be 900 megahertz in most of the cases okay or even the 1800 megahertz up till now. So we, we don't go for 2.4 gigahertz or anything of range but we mostly consider FC to be 900. If FC is 900 megahertz naturally this particular equation is what you have to learn this particular one because this gives you the AHRE you substitute this AHRE to the earlier equation with all the suitable values whatever you have and you get the total amount of overall loss that is happening. is it fine what, what, what exactly you have to do so you can see based on that if you go on doing it what, what Hatta did that he came up with the formula for the L50 dB the final formula for the suburban as well as for the open rural areas. In that, you can see the correction factor is missing. The correction factor is missing. It's only a factor of FC, FC. But this urban part, okay, this L50 urban involves the AHRE somehow. So this AHRE will be will have been used in order to find this L50. Okay. So in most of the cases, what we will have is the fourth one that the one that I have pointed out, this is where we will focus. Although in your CAT, we might give the any other options because naturally you are carrying the reference with you. So there is no point of mistaking, okay? So you can check any particular equation and you can solve for it, no problem. In your term and all, we will mostly focus on this particular equation. So please keep, a mind, keep in mind, you don't have to memorize everything because it's difficult, I know. It's, it's very confusing at times. Okay, so please remember the one that I have told you. So if you get the AHRE, you substitute over in this equation with all the values given and you get the value of L50. So this is one of the factors, this is what we call as Hatta model. Now, going beyond, this also required a little bit of modification. And that was resulted into something called as cos 231 model. Please remember the term extended Hatta model. Either it will be mentioned as cos 231 model or it will be called considered to be an extended Hatta model. This is when people are already starting to make the standardization of the path loss. So that's what people happen that Hatta model was already there. But people started to add up or subtract okay, things in that equation. So this is what the equation will look like. Something you can see the range has extended 150 to 2 gigahertz in this case and it can be extrapolated to even beyond. But the equation has changed a little bit. It looks very similar, it looks very similar but the coefficients have changed. So whenever you are asked to find out using extended Hatta model, you have to use equation like this. 
don't go for the Hatta model because each and every model has its own changes. So naturally, you can imagine there can be n number of other models as well. And if we go on discussing all those models, it will be a waste of time. We cannot finish off our syllabus. So that's why we will focus on Okumura, the extension to Okumura as Hatta model and extension to Hatta model as extended Hatta model. And this is the particular equation that we are looking at. And even here also you can see the factor of AHRE okay, is still there. And this is same as that of the this is same as that of the Hatta model. Okay, so this one is same as the Hatta model. But the only thing that has come up here is the only thing that has come up over here is this part. So this is again another correction factor you can call and which is given by this. So CM is equal to 0 3 dB to 3 dB based on medium city, suburban areas or metropolitan centers. Actually what happened, these people were working in Japan, right? Now, post 31 and people were working in different parts of globe as well. So what happened when this Hata model and everything, these models were coming up, these people who were working outside Japan, they had taken some other assumptions. But since by that time, the standardization has come up, so everyone sat together to come up with a unique or a com combined solution. So in that it was found out that we, if we add a CM factor to the overall expression, the result is Saki Saki. So that's why Hata model was already there and they came up with the extended Hata or the term that has cost to the There are many other models as well. Just go and search for it you will find many other models along with this. They have their own equations and they have their own parameters that you have to consider. But globally, these are some of the accepted and widely used. That's what I'm telling you. They are widely used. It's not that they are the only one. There are multiple others. But they are the widely used uh, path loss model for outdoor environment. Now you can see here, uh, the distance is again that uh, the HTE is same as 30 to 200 meters and HRE is again 1 meter to 10 meters. So specification wise almost the same. Except that the coefficients have changed and a factor of CM has gone based on whatever you are. Because it's something like you are going much deeper. Earlier it was only urban areas, then now the urban area is going to be clubbed into large cities, medium cities, rural areas, open areas like that. Now within that area, a large city they are defining that to be a metropolitan area or sub, uh, like suburban area or medium city like that. So it's going on deeper. Okay. So that's why this whole point of correction is happening to the executive. So based so on this, we finish, finish up our Okumura, the Okumura Hata model as well as the outdoor model. So, so you will find that in the lab, we will try to have this equation and we will try to plot the We will see the graph, how it will look like at different sets of frequencies. That will be done in the lab. Okay. So uh, we will come on Wednesday and we will finish off with some numericals and we will go to Indoor Okay. So, this is what uh, all about. This is uh, the portion till which we will have the uh, quiz. The cat portion plus this one. We haven't started much. We, uh, we have only done uh, the diffraction model. We have done the log distance, log normal two equations we have done. And we have finished the Okumura and Hata model. So please do this part in your quiz. Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, that helps. Uh, is it good? Okay. Okay. So uh, the thing is, where we start over here is something called as practical link budget, and it's using some path loss model. Why we are suddenly into this path loss model? See, the phenomenon that we have studied so far as the reflections, the diffractions and the scattering, they are all naturally occurring phenomenon, having some different ways of representation in terms of RF communication. That's what we did. But the main, main, more important part is what we actually have tried to find by using this technique is that 
primarily we, we found out that what is CRB or the receive signal. Because if we can find out what is the receive signal, we were trying to comprehend that based on the receive signal, what can be the obstructions that might have caused the receive signal to come in that. Because we already have PTD or the transmitted power with us. Because transmitted power is what we are generating, so that is with us. And we were kind of predicting on the nature of receive power that might be the case when a user or a receiver is at a certain distance. But the, say, for example, if take a two day, two day also PRD was to be found out. Even for diffraction, we, using the nine foot geometry, we found out that itself. Okay, by the diffraction law, if we can subtract that law from transmitter, we are getting the reflected, the uh, receive signal itself, right? So that is what we are doing. Now, the problem with those models are, the first point, that the models have been oversimplified. For example, if you take the two day, Two rays, there was only two rays that was taken into consideration. Why well, we all know that for a reflection to happen in a wireless environment, there can be n possible ways. But to make things very simple, we made it to an approximation of two rays. Okay? So that's one of the very premature assumption, I would say. Even for diffraction, what happened for diffraction, we had only had one such knife rays to be taken into consideration. So that's also a very premature assumption because there can be multiple number of sharp edges that are present. But to make things much easier, we have done that. So now we are having or we will go through some models which are actually authentic and can be both express in terms of empirical and analytical ways. By empirical method, what we are doing is that we will go on collecting some data and we will fit in some curves. And we will get some statistics out of those curves that how it is behaving. Suppose I am now, I guess most of you are aware of the same experiment. So when you are doing an exit experiment, the path of model you are going on changing. So the options are there, right? Indoor home, indoor factory, indoor office. So that's the environment where you are making a measurement. So fix that measurement, take some DD and fit in those data. Based on that, you can come up with a solution that, okay, for an office building, with this, this specification, we are getting a receive signal like this. That's what the empirical thing is doing. Collecting data, fitting into curves. Whereas for analytical models, what we are doing is we are expressing some equations. We are following the equations and we are fitting in these data. Like the distance of separation between the transmitter and the receiver. We are fitting those data. Maybe we can have some randomness by some random variable that may be added to the equation to make the system of the equation to be more realistic. Like that. So, like those models, these are called as the realistic path loss model, especially for large scale trading, usually we call it. This is what the practical link budget is all about. Because here, what we are primarily trying to do is, we are again, sorry. We are again trying, trying to find PRD, but, but this time in a different way. We, are, we, are, we, we already know about PT, the transmitted power, but we would try to find out what is the loss associated with it. This loss is to be calculated using the path loss model. That's why the term called as path loss model. So the primary objective is to find out the path loss or a practical assumption to path loss in order to make this equation to happen. Because we will find the loss, we will subtract that from the transmitter or the transmitter power and we will get the receive power. That's not more of it. But the important part is that this PAD is not an assumption. It's an analytical expression that will give you a certain value or an exact value of the loss that may happen. So based on this, one of the first of its kind of the model that was introduced, that is called as a log distance path loss model. Now please note down the second equation because that's more of the uh, fundamental to it because we will go ahead with this equation itself. So it comes from the fact that average receive signal power decreases logarithmically with distance. 
because the lack of observer even for practical cases when you are going away from the base station you receive power is coming down drastically and that in fact it was the handoff as we all know so from this concept it was okay sorry um the uh move on to the <coughs> to the other slides yang <coughs> really we have done before uh, but you can visit them uh, on your own time but i just wanted to show you the solution to um hatta okomura hatta model uh, somehow they went to the wrong one let me see uh, I have to do a search again, or maybe. Okay, maybe this one. Great, so. Uh... Okay, what, what are you seeing right now? Uh, apa -apa. Apa -apa. Okay. <coughs> the same thing tadi. Stop presenting. Oh no. Present now. Window. Yes. Sorry. Cancel. Present now. So what are you seeing now? Lecture 18 solution to Okumara Haka model? Uh, uh, okay, this is what I wanted to bring you to today. Okay, let's see. So last class we had uh, finished off with Okumura and Hata model. So in that, uh, in that we had discussed In that we have discussed that uh, basically this is all about the practical lean budget that we are all discussing about. And that uh, what we do, that it, ha it was all based on the practical analysis. Okumura it was widely accepted because it was in 1968 and it was a long time back it was developed. But it was calculation or, or theory behind the model and why we are needing this particular model. So based Okay. And we'll try to solve it one by one. one, by one. So this is so a this question is where it mentioned, mentioned that employing the Okumura model, model okay, okay, compute the, the median loss, loss at a distance of 10 kilometers, kilometers when the carrying frequency, frequency is 2.1 gigahertz. Okay. So, so the distance, the distance of, operation of operation is given to you. you. The frequency of operation is also given to you. Assuming the height of the transmitter at 40 meters and height of the receiver at 20 meters for a large city. So all the specification is given to use an Okumura model. You have the region where you are making the measurement, you have HTE, you have HRE, you have the frequency of operation. So everything is already uh, given. Right? So you have to substitute and come up with a result for uh, Exactly, exactly. Like to find out what, what is the amount of loss that is happening, that's the that's median loss. loss. Along with that, that, you have to find out, find the received power over the same scenario, and we will compare the same set of results for an Okumura model. We will see that whether Okumura gives us a better, better approximation or Okumura gives us a better approximation. So we will go ahead with the, so this solution, and please you also try doing it. I will give you some hints. 
and then you want to uh, wish to finish it. So let us go back uh, here. So I've copied the whole thing. Okay. Okay. So this is the problem for us. So let's see what we can have it. Um, so the first thing first. So the carrier frequency. is given by 2.1 gigahertz okay so this eventually will be 2 into 10 to the power 9 hertz and you can find out the lambda okay let, let me let me start i we are doing this okay let me let me just clarify that so first of all let me write out uh, let me take uh, red color so L50, this is the equation that we have for Okomura. First write down that. So L50 is given by LF, so the free space part loss, plus AMA, the attenuation factor, the attenuation factor that we have, minus GHTE, minus GHRD, minus G area. So this was the overall formula that we all have. So this is the basic formula that we have given to us. Now we have to find out in each and every component to it. That's the basic idea. In which G area can be found out from the graph. AMA can be found out from the graph. So we are left with three options, three parameters. So in order to find out the final step, so we have uh, let me let me just write it over here. L F is nothing but minus 10 log, this is already known to you, but still I am writing that, 4 pi whole square d square, or you can equivalently write this as 10 log of d square 4 pi whole square divided by lambda square. We will we'll just use the minus sign to get over in this case. So this is the way we are looking at Now, what I am telling you to do is, we find the, the value of LF, by substituting the value of T and lambda. I have already given the carrier frequency somewhere here. Okay, the carrier frequency is already given. So lambda you find out from the equation C by F. Tell me what is the value. Okay. Substitute it over in this equation and give me the answer for LF. First do this. This is the first task. So in this equation, in this type of numericals, nothing is that complex. It's says that each and every node you have to calculate. Sorry. No, no, it's wrong. No, because we have to change the line. We have to change the line. So, change it according. G-A-G-E, there is only one equation. Forget about it. G-A-G-E, which one you have to pick in this case? In this case. Because there is a specific condition given in which particular equation you need to is given as 2 meters. This is given in the, in the numerical itself. You have a formula of GHTE as 20 log of HTE by 200 and you have GHRE as two formulas given. So if I just go back, just one minute, I will go back to this equation that we had for Okumura. Okay, so we have these two, three equations ideally for Okumura. Can anyone tell me which GHRE? GHRE, there was only one equation, so forget it. GHRE, which one we need to pick in this case? So what I have right here is 
So Four what smart I have right here, M4 is our I'm Christmas really, really excited to see what's inside what this what this We are trying to find out the loss we are trying to find out the loss of the Okumura model for the event model for the event model. We have five parameters in which if we have found out GHT and GHR and we are trying to find out and we are left with the two others which will be coming from the graph. We come to that later. You put the value for GHT and GHR. Which one? Which one? G H R E G H R E. Is there any sign to minus sign? So minus one point seven six dB. And what about G H C E? Minus thirteen point nine seven. We take that as minus fourteen dB. Okay. So let's take it minus fourteen dB. Good. So three components done. Now we are going back to the graph part. Now you can now, see here, see here uh, uh, let's, let's write it first of all, A mu, here the frequency is 2.1 gigahertz, gigahertz and the distance, and the distance is 10, 10 kilometers. kilometers. This is the specification the because A mu depends on frequency, frequency as well as distance. distance. So let us go back to our presentation and let us see from here what will be the value of A mu. Okay? So we will go here this way. So 2.1 is somewhere, somewhere over here. here. Now see, now, this is what the approximation is. Now you could have chosen somewhere over here, here as well. well. That's correct. That's I can understand. Because this is 2000, this is 3000. So in between, there lies somewhere. Now how you are comprehending 2.1 differs. So for the time we let us assume, we are all assuming a particular solution. So this is 2.1 and this is my 10 kilometers mark. So this is my 10 kilometers Mark. So 10, so 10 kilometers, kilometers 10, kilometers, 10 kilometers. kilometers. This is my 10 kilometers. So for 2.1 gigahertz and 10 kilometers, where it is intersecting. Where it is intersecting. Where it is intersecting. This is the tentative writing, writing I am doing. So almost, almost like, like this. this. Now it, it might vary, it might vary, I can understand, but for the time being, let us assume that this value is corresponding to 34 dB. Let us take that. Okay, it can be 32, it can be 33, it's up to you. Because this is 30, this is 30, that is what the AMU value is. For example, if I take, if I take suppose 700, which is a valid point here, and 700 megahertz and 10 kilometers locally. So what we'll do? 10 kilometers and this is where it will intersect somewhere. So it will come here and we will go like this. And tentatively, it is almost around a 30 GB attenuation that we are also doing. Or 29. Okay, this is how you read the graph. But naturally, there is an assumption that you are making. It's an approximation we are making. It's not a definitive value. But for a time here, let us assume that 34 dB is what the value is. So, we go back. So, A mu for us is 34 dB. Let us take that. It can be 33, it can be 32 as well. Not a problem. Now, please check this thing out. Now we are left with only one option, the G area. So the G area is what? Now, I told you last year as well that this G area is a correction factor and we are using an Okumura model. Okumura model, when it works for a large city, ideally G area or the correction factor seems to be zero. Because if you can observe the graph here, the second graph that we have, it doesn't it have, have give any account on what happens when it is a large city. That's primarily because Okumura model includes G area to be zero. If it is only suburban or open quasi or open area, then only the correction factor needs to be included. Okay, please understand this. So here, since it's already been mentioned it's a large city, we will exclude G area from our calculation. So exclusion means G area to be considered to be as 
if it had been a suburban area, it could have been an open area, it could be mentioned in the request itself or in the, in the question itself. So based on that, you find out what is the uh, value, you just subtract that from the overall. So what we are having now is, you substitute everything. So L50, let's, let's say this as maybe L, is it? So L50 is LF plus AMU which we had minus GHTE minus GHRE minus G area. So this was the equation that you had. Now just substitute the values whatever you got. LF was 180 plus AMU you got around 34 dB. Minus, minus GHT, how much you got? Minus 14 dB. So minus of minus 14 dB. Minus GHRD is minus 176. So minus 0.176 minus 0. So we are finding out that all the data, whatever we are. So just open it and tell me what is the value of it. You are getting almost around 176. 1? 167, everyone agrees with that? 167? 167 dB? Everyone is getting it? Just check one. This last minus nothing else. 167. We'll take that 167. Okay. Now, keep it as it is. We'll find the receive power later. Do the same process for an atom. You have the Hatha equation with you? Do you have the Hatha equation with you? Or I'll give you the Hatha equation with you? Because the second part of the question is to find out that what is it, what, what is the value of the whole same thing when you are using a Hatha model. So Hatha model is given by L50, so this is Hatha model. Okay. okay. So in Hata model, we are giving an equation like this. L50 is given by 69.55. Those who are not there in the class, just you can follow this uh, equation itself. You will understand what we did last class. So this is log of FC. Please make sure, please make sure I'll show you that again. FC is in megahertz that you have to use. Okay, this please make a note of it. FC when you are substituting it, it should be in megahertz. Okay? So FC, then you have minus A H R E plus 44.9 minus 6.55 log of H T E whole multiplied by log of D. This was the equation for Hata model as well. We had the coefficients. In that, I told, I'm telling you, please make sure that the FC, the carrier frequency you are considering, needs to be taken in megahertz. Like in this case, it's given is 3.1 gigahertz. So convert that to megahertz and then substitute. That's the only thing you have to do. And the only so thing to be noted is, is you have you to have find out what is this AHRE. Like I pointed out last case. So A H R E is how much when it is given by 3.2. Okay, let, let me let, let not be not be writing this. Just I go back here and I show you the. So this is the equation it was. Check the check here that the equation was based on the megahertz. It was based on megahertz. So that's why the F C should be in megahertz. And let me tell Let you me a tell story you about, about the time, time when I first graduated, graduated broke and jobless, jobless and, and my, my father scolded me. me. Why Why Can you check that the third equation is again what we are going to use? Because FC is greater than 300. So in most of the cases, we are going to use the third one. one. Okay, okay, the 3.2 3 log of 1.751. So we so so write, write that. that. 3.2 log of 11.75 multiplied by HRE. Okay. Whole thing 
to be square, to be square minus, minus 4.97. So this is my this is my overall equation, equation for atom one. Now, you now know, I will request I you to substitute each, each and every value, value since all of the values value are with you, and give and me the answer, answer of what you are getting for L50 as a linear loss. Please do it. Please do it. Because, because when I Might have. People might have. The is the stereo frequency FC? It was given as 2.1 so so gigahertz. So if you convert that to megahertz, it, mega it would be 2100 zero zero megahertz. Log of log two, something like this, something should, be like there. this should be there. Log of eight. Log of eight. Um, um, yes. Yes. See here, See here the equation for for this this part. Thirteen point eight two log, log of eight. This, this, this was missing. Okay. Uh, earlier, yeah. this make the, the correction. This is minus thirteen point eight two should be there, yeah. and yeah. this value, value as per my calculation, twenty two point one four. It should come. Plus, Plus is the is portion of this 44.9 minus 6.55 log, log of HD multiplied by log, uh, log, log 10. 10. So this, this value, how much you are getting? This part, 44.9. Just calculate and tell you. Just, I will also modify it here a little bit. Thirty-seven point six four. So, so final answer. What you are getting? Two seven nine. Two seventy one nine. Is it two seventy nine? Okay, let it be two seventy one. So this is my D. Now you can observe that using the same specification, when we were using open world model, if I just go up a little bit. So this was so value this was of value 167. 167, right? right. So suppose so you are designing a system, a system and you go for open Okamura model with the with assumption, the assumption of, the of the graph. So you are getting a 157 dB. dB. So based so on the loss that you are having, you will go on doing the power calculation, right? That this is the this amount, is amount of loss that might happen. But since Hata model is a more better predictor, it is actually giving the practical value what you are supposed to get. So 167 and 271, the whole gap that you are observing is because of the assumption made by Okumura. So the analytical model is actually giving us the exact figure for the loss. That is the main conclusion from it. So that's why when we are using Hata model, the loss factor is exactly what we are calculating. So if we so know this, this, we can go and do, and do the calculation, the calculation for, the for the transmitted power. power. Because, because basically, basically what we are trying to find out is that PR, PR is nothing, is nothing but PT minus this L50. So if so we, if we know exactly, exactly this figure, figure we and we and know we that know this that is the receive power we need in order to sustain some application, so we can optimize the portion of PT because PT is where the base station is. So that's so why. So if the L50 is not an exact calculation that we are observing, naturally the overall practical link budgeting is failing. So that's the comparison of the two models. That's why we did the same problem using the two set. Now come to the last question that what is the value of the received signal? If I go to the numerical once again, if I go if I back to the, the problem once again, again, so the question, the question was, was if EIRP is given by 1 kilowatt at a carrier frequency of 2.1 gigahertz, find the receive power for the same thing. So you have to calculate what is TR 
based on the level 50 and this. So this part, the part which I am mentioning over here, is based on the open motor motor. So let us find out what is the receive power based on the open motor motor itself. Hata motor will be given the same. Same problem will adopt. So let's see, we go back. <coughs> so we have this equation. So, we have this equation. So we have this equation, have right? This equation. Now, do now, we have we anything have as an information on the transmitted power? We have we something have called as EIRP. What is EIRP? If you can remember, you know, uh, like when we when started, started off with our. our uh, uh, multipath training. training. The first thing that we have come across was a free space path loss. In that, PTGT was called as the EIR. Now, in most of the cases, as we all know, the GT will be 1 or the gain is considered to be unity. Like in fact, here we have considered it to be unity. Have you observed that the LF part, when opening the model we have considered, see, when we, they, when we have done the opening the calculation, see here, we have neglected the GP and GR, that's why it was lambda square, otherwise GP and GR would have been here. So we have already considered GT to be 1. So basically when you are going now to calculate the PT GT, so this whole 1 kilowatt of power, whatever is given, uh, sorry, 1 kilowatt of power, whatever is given, this is nothing but the PT itself. Understood? So if we go on doing the calculation, which is quite... Uh, uh, simple, simple in fact. So uh, this one kilowatt, what we are going to do is two things we can do. One thing, one thing is we can change everything to dBm and we can go on the calculation, go for the calculation, or we can do it for dB and uh, we can convert this to dB and we can go for the calculation. Okay? So I will give you the two steps as well. Let's, for example, if I change it to dBm, this will be. 1 into one 10 to the power 6, six. Okay, take, take a log, log. Okay, okay, and 10. And ten. So this so will be around 60 dBm. This is how we calculate, right? We, we convert that to millivolt. We take the 10 log of it and that becomes the dBm. So if this is 60 dBm, so basically PR is coming as 60 dBm minus 167 dB. 167, 167 is found out from the model itself. We have found the model. So this is my resultant receive power. But the problem here lies is that one we are expressing dBm, the other one is expressing dB. So it's better to convert everything in dB. And for that, what we are going to do, that we have a formula, we already know. Is there any solution for this? dBm and dB what, what we can do? Is there any shortcut to change, convert this? dBm is given by subtract dB what plus 30. Is it? So basically this one we have also discussed while we were discussing long time back when we were first introducing the free space model. There only we discussed this. So if you convert this dB watt, this dB and dB watt is almost the same scale because we are taking one watt as this. So this is now coming almost around 30 dB watt minus 167 dB or we can subtract this dB scale. Both of the units are the same, dB watt and dB means the same thing. So you can subtract this and tell me the answer. It will come around minus this minus subtract. So this is my 137 dB watt or dB whatever you call it. So this is my receive power for the Kumura model. Similarly, similarly, the same process, you substitute the 270 watt or whatever we got from Hata. And you get the answer for receive power for a Hata model. Same thing. Okay, so the, uh, there's a specific reason why I'm telling you this or the whole process I follow because these are the steps you have to follow in order to get the full marks out of this particular question. The question is simple, but the calculation revolves around, it requires a little bit of concentration.
So that's why that's I thought of going through this drill for the time. So this is fine then, this is the process of doing it. For any Okumura problem, found, find out what is F, what is D, what is H statement. The median path loss using Okumura model for D, 50 kilometers, H, 100 meters. HRE 10 meters in a suburban environment. Just the change in suburban environment. Can you tell me what change is what we have to include the G area factor. G area won't be zero. It is not suburban. So suppose you have 50 kilometers and you are working with 900 megahertz. So if I go back to this graph once again, just to check. So. Yes. Yes. So this is my graph. This is my graph. So 500. So, 500, uh, so your 900 uh, so megahertz, megahertz is somewhere over here. Over here. So let let's so have let's 900, have 900 is somewhere here. Somewhere again, here. An, again approximate an approximate is there. Naturally. Naturally. So 900 is 900 here, is and we have a suburban area. So we have. So this is one of the examples. One one very different type of example is this one. Try doing it alone. I am not helping you this way. If you all have the equations right now, so please solve this for me. Determine the propagation loss for a radio signal at 800 MHz. So the frequency is given to you. Uh, with transmitter enter in a height of 30 meters and HRS 2 meters. So HDE and HRE are given to you. Just write this short. HDE as 30, HRE as 2. D is given by 10 kilometers, FC is given by 800 megahertz. And we are asked to find out under a dense urban mobile environment. So the environment is also given. And fortunately it's an Hata model that we are looking So your half of your work is over here itself. Because it's an Hata model and you don't have to refer to the graph to find out anything. So you just have to memorize the equation and you can substitute that. So just go for it, find out what is the loss. And, and the question, the question again, again says, says, if free space, space path loss is 110.5 dB, how is Hata propagation path loss comparable with, with that of free space propagation path loss? We did the same problem actually, almost the same type of problem we did now, but please do it together. Because now you all know how to proceed, so please do it. We are not considering the multipath fading. So see the difference that it makes. So LF is a very premature assumption that we are keeping in mind that there are no multipaths available and what is the total overall loss that is happening. So that comes around 110 but if doubles and more than that is obtained when we are actually considering the practical scenario and that's why L50 is a more better approximation compared to LF. So that is the final answer, the how it is comparable to LF. So this is what you have to write in your answer. That's what is comparable. I mean, it's no way it's comparable because L50 is much, much bigger compared to 110. Because it contains all the multipath effects, all the abstraction, how much it has created the noise, or the shadowing to the whole system. So that's what the L50 does. So similarly, you can solve for many other problems. But whatever you do, please remember the use of formula and do the calculations properly. That's the biggest trouble you people are having. All of you only depend on calculators to do everything for you. Please don't do it. Write it. Okay? Part by part. Write it. Answer. Write it. Answer. Then you can do everything and do it. Many people are having the same problem. That's why I thought of going through this problem one by one, step by one. 
fine fine so we we'll come, come back to we we'll start the indoor model when we finish off in your quiz the syllabus is still this open mode and hard mode indoor will be there so whatever i finish on monday class that is there in your syllabus on your side okay um so the you you uh, apa ni follow eh you have been following eh i already stopped it it's quite a lot so we're going to talk about what path loss is so i looked up a definition on wikipedia and it says oh dear path loss is the reduction in power density of an electromagnetic wave as so as you can see there are lots of resource in the web that you can follow browse and pick up from one from time to time um and uh, they they are very uh, some of them are very very uh, very clear i think yeah the, the way that he presented today um what's your what's your comment that the second part the the way that he went through the problem huh? is it is it clear you can follow them because that's, that's a very good exam question so i want you to be able to uh, master that okay and uh, perhaps uh, you know who knows some of the question might come up maybe uh, with different scenario uh, but you have to do a little bit of thinking and then just follow the procedure uh, one by one uh, make sure all the parameters are captured at the right places uh, the formula will be if it is need is needed uh, will be given you just need to choose the right one for them okay um and then i i still remember we need to do some computer simulation exercise i haven't got to that yet so <laughs> yeah so uh, this is a good one also to model compare with some computer model maybe um, uh you know through matlab you you all have, you all uh, have access to matlab uh so i i will have to come up with some kind of uh, assignment that you will uh, you know simulate some some situations and get the plot for example and perhaps then compare with some manual kind of uh, calculation so that will take care of one of the pos on computer use of computer modeling and tools and so on and so forth uh, besides also with the mathematical things okay so uh, so that's coming inshallah um so uh, and a few other uh problems that i pick i will pick up from theodore rapaport i just got the solutions manual okay some some of this that i have gone through very quickly in the class dulu uh like cellular structure why is it the cellular structure was developed such in, in such such a way how to increase the capacity semua tu was done very quickly in the first few lectures um so i will give those as exercise as well and if need be then we we probably go through some of them again because there was maybe such a long time ago <laughs> what was that february very may have uh, forgotten some of them and then uh, i'm i'm compiling some quizzes also uh, just to keep you up to date or in touch so you know don't get lost i just want to see how where you stand and so uh, i'm compiling them very you know it's it's not easy to come up with a with a multiple choice question you know because you have to think through them but that's why it's taking a bit of time so any question before i think we we can call it out the day uh, so before that any questions from you uh saya tak ada when huh? apa dia saya tak ada oh when when are you coming back here i will hear me you can already semua, come back semua tu ah huh? july bukan july kan ah uh, july july yeah. uh, july because um, 
I think most most of the us, the lecturers and the staff are back, cuma kena follow SOP je lah. So you will see jalan nak masuk faculty tu, dia dah buat lorong-lorong. And I can't imagine there will be big, big jam jugalah. So when you come in, you can give a bit of time. Dia ada dia punya SOP macam you pergi kedai mana-mana pun. Ya, kena ambil, 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 ambil temperature, tulis nama kalau tak ada record lagi. And then lorong nak masuk tu, dia tak boleh masuk jalan biasa straight tu, dia akan divert ikut library library faculty, ikut lab-lab yang tak dalam. I don't know whether they're going to stay doing that way when you come in, because there going to be a big jam there. But anyway, uh, so I hope you make use of your time there, follow, uh, you know, visit a lot of resources in, in the web. I will update maybe the Putra Plus as well, uh, just to give you an idea what are the things that you uh, you should you should study, you should follow, what are the resources that is available and so on and so forth. So please keep in touch on that. Okay, if not, and then I take the last screenshot of the attendance. Uh, attendance ada 16. Ini almost everybody, yeah? okay. And the only thing I can't be too sure is uh, whether there are people behind it, you know. <laughs> Some of these are just letters here. Yeah? And the uh, other static pictures. Oh, it's okay. All right. <laughs> Peace, guys. Uh, so, Taba, I, I have already captured. I think most of you are there. Cuma, I hope you are. Oh, ada yang dalam kereta ke? Oh, dah ada yang dapat bahaya. Oh. Hi. Hati-hati di jalan raya. <laughs> They're testing the radio reception kat situ. Okay, good. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright, kalau ada, kalau kita sudahi, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Ah? Kursi baru tu, Ikhwan. <laughs> Belum lagi. Kena <laughs> kursi giveaway, bye. Koroi, koroi buka kiri, koroi. Koroi tengok dua kelas, bye. Ikhwan eh, buka gamer pun. Tunggu adik pula aku punya YouTube channel. Kira aku aku join lah giveaway tu aku cakap lah Takkan ha. menang punya lah Sekejap lagi <laughs> dia beritahu kau menang <laughs>